Welcome to NAB 2011. My name is Alan Lewis. I'm the marketing manager for the Broadcasting Communications Sales and Marketing Division of the Professional Engineering and Solutions Group of Canon USA. We're here in booth C4325 where we're showing off some of our new technologies for NAB, including the two lenses that you see behind me, the FK 14.5 by 60 wide angle lens and the FK 30 by 300 telephoto lens, both of which are brand new full 4K lens technology that Canon is introducing. Uh, and these PL mounts feature unbelievable focus, depth of field, 11 blade iris, spectacular imagery, minimization of chromatic aberrations. It's unbelievable technology that went into this and what we were able to do to create these lenses is 2009 we worked with NHK, the Japanese broadcaster, on a prototype of an 8K lens technology uh, which was shown at their booth and the advances that we made in R&D in coming up with that 8K lens were actually able to then be scaled back into producing this full 4K technology that you see here today. Some of the other features that are very important in these 4K lenses are that they are smaller and lighter than many of their competitors in the 4K field. Uh, the telephoto lens especially is uh, significantly lighter and smaller than many of the other lenses in its class. And uh, it also is a much lower price point than uh, many of the competitors in its class. Um, the primary applications that we see for these lenses are high-end cinematography, high-end television production, high-end commercial production, and also uh, in the field of sports. Uh, a lot of times when people are watching sports, especially on instant replay situations, they find that even HD quality sometimes isn't clear enough to be able to create the high resolution images needed to tell whether somebody was inbounds or out of bounds or whether a player was on the three point line or behind it. So uh, using this 4K technology now we'll be able to get even better replays to get very clear and concise and precise definitions of the correct call. So what we have here is another one of our new introductions for the show. This is our KJ20 by 8.2 IRSD lens. What's special about this, this is the first lens in its class to feature a built-in two times extender. So that adds flexibility for uh, stations that uh, are looking to stay in our low cost family of lenses, but need that versatility of being able to get the two times extender to get uh, a little bit longer distance shots. The 8.2 millimeter angle of view is also the widest angle of view in its lens class. What we're showing here is a breakthrough in 3D production technology. This is the Microfilms Total Control Rig featuring our HJ15 8.5 Vary Angle Prism Lens. What's special about the HJ15 is that it's the world's first and still the world's only portable HD lens with built-in image stabilization technology. And what that means is that inside of the lens there is a very angle prism inside of a high refractive index liquid inside of a hermetically sealed bellows which can adjust for pitch and yaw and redirect light to the center of the imaging sensor so that no matter what kind of movement you're dealing with you're getting the steadiest image you can possibly get. What this means for 3D production is that instead of stabilizing the image now that very angle prism can be used to adjust the interocular base and the convergence points so that rather than having to make minute changes to the rig to make sure that those points are always in sync and uh, ideal for the way that your eyes see 3D, now the lens itself can make those corrections, which is a huge time saver. Another breakthrough in 3D production technology that Canon is showcasing at this NAB is our brand new 3D bridge cable and 3D control software. The 3D control software goes into our new advanced digital drive unit which allows you to configure the two lenses in the pair for 3D to be exactly synchronized with each other for the zoom, focus, and iris positions. And then the 3D bridge cable is a 20 pin by 20 pin connector that allows the two lenses to talk to one another and move in sync with one another. So what we're showcasing here is our brand new wireless control system for lenses. Uh, oftentimes jib arms such as this are used in any kind of production, be it film, television, commercials. And one of the issues with using a jib arm, whether it's a mini jib like we have here from Joni Jib, or a larger jib system, is that you have to run cable from the camera and lens down here to where the operator is standing so that you can operate the zoom and focus controls. 
What this wireless system does though, is we have a transmitter box down here and a receiver box up there. So at distances up to 10 meters, you can have the zoom and focus controls going there without the need for extra cables. Hi, my name is Chuck Westfall from Canon USA and we're here at the NAB 2011 in Las Vegas. Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about Canon's efforts in uh, high definition capture for the uh, cinema area. We also have uh, behind me a range of different uh, products that we're talking about including not only the EOS line but also into our XF and XA series camcorders. So actually what we have here is uh, uh, a range of cameras that cover the full spectrum from even the sub $1,000 area in the Rebel series up to in the high end on the EOS, on the EOS 1D Mark IV, roughly a $5,000 price point with a range of cameras in between like the 5D Mark II, the 7D and the 60D that are all giving basically full HD 1920 by 1080 image quality with full access to the entire lineup of EF lenses and these are large sensor cameras that basically give an outstanding result in terms of uh, high sensitivity and also uh, extremely low noise so they can be used in low light. With their large sensors they can also handle a very very shallow depth of field especially with a large aper aperture lens so uh, you know you really are able to create some very very high quality cinematic effect. Now in addition to the EOS line we're also talking about the uh, camcorders, the professional camcorders that Canon has introduced within the last 12 months. We have two of the XF series, the XF300 series and the XF100 series. These are using Canon's XF codec, which is something that we've developed uh, that is mainly designed to give a high image quality at 50 megabits per second in MPEG-2. It's also a 422 color sampling, which gives us a very high image quality for keying and uh, detail work. Now these cameras are, are fixed lens models using a new 1 3rd inch Canon CMOS that has native 1920 by 1080 resolution. And they have a full plethora of all the features that a professional videographer would want in terms of not only the video, but as the audio as well with the dual XLR inputs. You also have things like waveform monitors to be able to check your exposure, zebra levels, and, and everything else that a professional would really need. Now to the, this range, within the last few months, we've just added another camcorder that is called the XA10. And that is even less than half the size of the XF100, which is so small already. So the XA10, is an AVCHD product, but it also has the same exact uh, image sensor as the XF series, the 1 3rd inch 1920 by 1080 native, and it also has the same image processor and even the same lens as the XF 100 and 105. So for people who are looking for even a smaller package, maybe something that's a little bit more affordable, the XA10 is just an outstanding new product that they should be considering. I also uh, wanted to mention about a couple of new software issues that are going on right now. Uh, we're introducing actually two new uh, software add-ons here at the show that relate to the EOS line and the XF line. There's a new plug-in for Final Cut Pro version 1.2 that uh, is compatible with all of our EOS cameras and basically gives us ability to transcode directly into the ProRes Kodak uh, at a very, very quick rate of speed, but also very easy for people to be able to work with. Uh, we made a couple of improvements on workflow with that compared to the last version. That's going to be available for download from our website in the end of April. Also, a little bit later, like in June or July, we're looking to introduce a new firmware for the XF305 and the XF300 camcorders. And this new firmware is going to provide 3D assist. So in other words, when you're working with a pair of these camcorders, that you can line them up for 3D production very easily. Also, it has scan reverse technology and a couple of improvements on the workflow aspect when you're working with the CF cards. So these will be uh, new firmware updates uh, that are essentially free to the user and uh, will be available through Canon in the next couple of months. So as you look around the NAB show, I think you're going to find that uh, among all the different vendors that are here, you know, Canon is probably the best positioned overall to handle the HD space all the way from the EOS through to the XF and the XA. So thank you very much for your attention. Appreciate it.